Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to set up a Nextcloud instance on your VPS. I definitely recommend checking out our blog post, which will be linked in the description. There you will find a step-by-step -step guide as well as all used commands. Prerequisites and requirements. In order to install Nextcloud on your server you need root access and a domain already connected to your server. In this video I will use our VPS MSSD, which runs Debian 11. Before we start with the actual installation process, I will log in as root onto my server and use this command to check if there are any updates available. Required programs. After updating our server, I will install most of the required programs with this long command. After the installation has finished, I can continue with the installation of PHP 8.0. PHP 8.0 because the PHP 8.0 package isn't included in Debian 11, I need to add these manually. To do so, use these five commands, command after command. The repository should have been added to our server. Now we can continue with the actual installation of PHP and all required modules. The installation of PHP 8.0 is done with this command. For Nextcloud to work properly, additional PHP modules are required. They can be installed with this long command. Now PHP and all required modules are installed and we can continue by configuring our PHP version. To do so we need to adjust the php.ini which is the config file of PHP. Open the config with this command. These parameters need to be changed. To make the process of finding the correct values easier, I will press Ctrl plus W to open a search bar where I can enter the parameter's name and hit the enter key to jump to the fitting line. Repeat this process for the other three parameters as well. After adjusting all parameters, save the changes with Ctrl plus O and exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. Setting up a database. Now we will create a database. First log into the database software with this command. You will be prompted to enter your root password. Now create a database with this command. And create a user with this command. It's important to use a secure password and not a simple one like me. Now adjust some permissions with this command. And flush the privileges with this command. Now you can exit the database software with this command. Downloading Nextcloud files. Now it's time to download the Nextcloud files. This can be done using this command. Now unzip the archive with this command. If you want, you can remove the zip archive now because it's no longer needed. This can be done with this command. Now let's move the unzipped Nextcloud folder to its correct position with this command. Configuring Apache 2. First we need to activate some modules which are required for Nextcloud to run with this command. We will continue by setting up a reverse proxy. 
This will tell our web server where our Nextcloud instance is located. Create a config with this command. And paste in the following content. You can find this template in our blog post. Now I just need to replace the email and domain line with values which apply to my configuration and my email address. I will save the document with Ctrl plus O and exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. With this command you can activate your config. In order for all changes to take effect, we need to restart our whole web server with this command. Creating a data folder optional. By default, Nextcloud will store all uploaded data in the installation directory of your Nextcloud instance. If you want, you can create a separate location for all uploaded data. This step is fully optional. To do so, create a folder at a location of your wish, where you want your files to be uploaded with this command. As you can see, I chose slash home slash data as the location where I want my files to be uploaded. To choose a different location, adjust the command. Adjusting permissions. We need to adjust some folder permissions with these two commands. If you created a separate data folder as shown earlier, change the permissions for this folder as well with this command. If you use a different location than slash home slash data, adjust the command. Installing an SSL certificate. To make data transform more secure, I will install an SSL certificate using the certbot. With this method, you can generate free certificates which are valid for 90 days. Don't worry, you can just renew them after 90 days. There's even a method which will auto-renew them. More information about that can be found on CertBot's official website, which will be linked in the description. To install the CertBot, use this command. Now run the program with this command. I select my domain by typing in the matching number. Now it's time to finish the installation via browser. Finishing the installation via browser. To do so, I will enter my domain in the URL bar of my browser. Now I will create an admin account. If you chose to use a separate location for your data, adjust the path here. Now I will enter my database credentials. And we'll click on install. In this menu, you can choose if you want the recommended apps to be installed. If you want them to be installed, click on Install Recommended Apps. Otherwise, click on Cancel. Congrats! Your Nextcloud instance is set up and working. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any further tutorials.